The process began with students and teachers voicing their concerns and confusions over the university's current sexual harassment policy. They met two lawyers specializing in higher education policy. Although sparely attended, those who were there confronted the lawyers with hard issues. If you're a graduate student and your mentor starts hitting on you, you have two choices. You take it or you dump everything you've committed your life to for several years and start over. The lawyers say the current policies are too long, unclear and abstract. They want to change not only the written policy, but also people's mind. The ones that we're interested in is the change in the culture in the, in the university. Some of the events over the past year make it appropriate for us now to look at the policy and see whether there are areas in which we could improve the policy and uh, improve the campus climate. Those events include two high-profile cases happened last fall in which UI professors were accused of sexually harassing students. They later both committed suicide. The two complaints also accused the university of mishandling the allegations. This has led many to question whether the university's definition of sexual harassment and relevant policies are clear enough. A 2006 study shows, with a sum of 10,000 UI students, faculty and staff members, more than 52% of them say they have encountered unwanted behaviors. It also shows respondents often don't label behavior as sexual harassment because either they don't know it constitutes sexual harassment or they want to avoid the stigma. A new written policy will come out in June, but the new culture will take much more time. This is Cynthia Feng, Daily ION TV.